Hello, hello, and welcome to Writer Always Write. Mont Blanc Toffee Brown has been a great brown to use, but I also want to expand my selection. When I looked online at brown fountain pen inks, there were so many to choose from that making a choice seemed impossible. That's what I like about Goulet pens. They send you a sampling of ink in a color choice they offer, so you won't have to commit to a bottle of something you may not like. Today, I have eight samplings of brown fountain pen inks that I hope you'll help me choose from when we come back. Okay, the first color that I think I would like to look at is the Noodler's Walnut. And we're going to open this and we're going to try to be very careful not to make a total mess on my desk here. So we're going to dip it and we're going to move this very, very carefully to the side here. And here we go. That is... That's pretty dark. That is pretty dark. Let's give it a, a second go over here. That is pretty dark. And we will hold this up and let you take a look at that. Not much shimmer to it. It's kind of a, a darkish flat color. But I do like it it's not bad this is again this would be the Nuller's walnut and we're going to close this back sit it safely to the side here and our next color we're going to try is the robert oyster cafe crema so let's give this a try we'll open this up very carefully we will dip the q-tip in this is dark also. We'll move this back easy. And here we go. It's not as dark. It has a richness to it in the color. So that's not as dark. It does have a bit of some shading. Not bad. Not bad. Let's close this here before I show it on the camera. Let's lift it up here and here we go with the Robert Oyster Cafe Crema. Has a little bit of some shading to it. So compared to the this one and compared and we'll hold this one up. Much lighter than the coffee. Okay. Our next will be Noodler's Golden Brown. And here we go. Here we go. We're going to move this safely out of the way here. And then we're going to... Oh, that's even lighter. That's much lighter. No shading, but that is a pretty color. That is a pretty color. Look that. We're going to close the container here. And then we're going to hold it up. So there we go with that one. Now that's the, let me see, what was it again? The, that was the, it's the Noodler's Golden Brown. So what do you think? This is three of them. Basically it's dark, light, and then much lighter okay our next will be diamine ancient copper this is a popular one that I hear people talk about all the time so we're going to dip that looks much darker oh wow. and here we go we're going to I think we'll move over here to this side it says brown, but that looks 
That looks burgundy to me. Yeah, maybe not, but I guess it's a definitely a different variation of a brown. We're going to close this and bring this darling up to you so you can see it. So what do you think about that? That is the Noodler's, no, Diamine Ancient Copper. Okay. So there we go with that. Okay. Moving on. We have our Pilot Arushizuku Yamaguru. And let's give this a try. Dark. Wow. Move it safely out of the way. And here, whoop, that is very dark. But I do like it. I do like it. I, I can see myself writing this and writing this business more like for business. And let's take a look at that. There we go. Very dark. Very dark. Close this. And we are progressing very well. Next is our diamine chocolate brown. Okay, I'm gonna open this up. And can you see this okay? I'm gonna dip that. Diamine chocolate brown. And I think you can still see it. And we're gonna do it this way. This is also very dark, but I love the richness of this color. I like this. I do like this. I like diamine inks a lot. I just tend to gravitate towards those a lot as well. Carefully, we're gonna close that move it out of the way and see. there we go that is the diamine brown correction diamine chocolate brown so let's recap we have our first colors and then here's the second group of colors and there we go I think we'll stay on the same page instead of turning over. Well, no, we'll stay on the same page instead of turning over Oops. another page. Our next color will be Urban Ledete. And here we go. This looks dark also. I think we'll put this one right on this page. We'll move this over. You can see that, and I like that. All of the colors, in a way, have their own uniqueness to them, and it's making it really hard to make a decision. So here we go. And look at that. You can see that. I do like that. There we go. Last but not least will be our Noodler's Pecan. And here we go. Move that out of the way. And move this over here some. And here we go. Each brown is a different brown. They have their own uniqueness to them. I do like this. I like this a great deal. That is the golden, correction, Nublas Pecan. So we'll move this over here so you can take a look at that one. The last one. Love it.
Okay, there are eight variations to choose from, and they are all great inks, really. So, I, it's difficult to make up my mind. Hmm, what do you think? Which ones are best? Thank you for watching Writer Always Right. I hope you like, subscribe, and join me again for my next video. Remember, take care of yourself, mind, and body. You only have one you. Feel free to leave a comment. I enjoy your opinions. I enjoy hearing from you. Bye.